Guys, what's happening? Mike Campbell down here at Soup Swing Shop, former D1 outfitter, University of South Carolina, uh, 2006 MLB draft pick by the San Diego Padres, and I've been doing private instruction the last 12 years. Um, I was really, you know, coming to you guys today um, just to help you guys understand how I start my daily workouts. Um, really, the first thing that we do is going to be a stride drill, just to make sure we're, we're stepping and we're starting at the ground um, and, and doing things the right way from the ground up. I mean, that's really where your consistency and repeat, repeatability need to be is going to be with your footwork to start your swing and obviously being athletic, finishing your swing uh, in a good athletic position. So um, I've been using T-Claws the last month and a half. Really been a great tool for me uh, to give my clients visual feedback uh, and really help them develop great habits. So I'm just going to show you a drill that I work on with T-Claw um, just so you guys can get an idea uh, how this can benefit your hitters uh, or your son or daughter as well. Next slide. Good guys. So I have two sets of T-Claws here on the ground. I'm going to have one lane this is gonna be your footwork to go where you're gonna to wanna to get your stride. This is typically where I have our, my guys start. It's gonna be right here off the back uh, cut of the plate here. My stride wants to be three to five inches, okay? We don't wanna go out with our stride. We don't wanna come in. We don't wanna to be too short. We don't wanna to be too long, okay? So that's really with these T-claws, you can place them anywhere you want. You know, if you have a player that's really flying out this way, opening front foot, we can set it here, close off your front foot, make sure we're staying inside and through the baseball. But just for this drill purposely, I do this with no ball, no tee. As soon as my clients get here, we're gonna work on a stride drill. And these tee claws are lined up perfectly with my feet. Um, obviously, if it's a, a smaller player that have smaller feet, I'll shorten them up a little bit. That way they're maintaining that repeatability and consistency. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is start in between these two lines in our lane. Our stride is gonna be right here. So we're good about three or four inches. So we're not over striding. We're not opening up. We're not closing ourselves off. I see a lot of kids when they're striding, they're going here. I'll say, look down. Okay. Now they know, hey, I'm wrong. I come back. They look down at your feet, get set on the first line. Stride low. Now I'm looking down. I'm closed off. I'm in the right spot to hit. A lot more power here when my feet are balanced and in line. Okay. Another thing is I close this off because we don't want this either. We want to stay straight and stay inside the ball right here. Okay, so that's one drill that I'll do here. Try, look down. I was off. You guys see that right there? We got an inch and a half. Okay, I was off. Now I come back, try. I'm right there where I need to be. Okay, another drill that I do, I have two mirrors right here. I can go this way with it. And I can work on seeing my hands load with my stride. That's good. I come back. See my hands loaded with my stride. I was off. Okay, I'm opening up. I need to work on staying more straight. Okay, and this has been a daily staple in my workouts and has really created a lot of great habits uh, with my hitters. So hopefully you guys enjoy.